This is a basic tutorial for 3DRX Insight and I'm going to just go over some different aspects of the program on a very basic level for a common user so they can become familiar with how the program works. It's very easy to use and it's broken down into two, into two components. Uh, one is the 3D side and the other is the rehabilitation side. First I'd like to enter into the 3D side and as I enter the 3D side I want to point out that the animations are broken up into areas of the body. Uh, so for example if I wanted to find a particular animation in the shoulder I would simply click on shoulder and then choose something like uh, infraspinatus tendinitis and then the animation corresponding will play uh, in a three-dimensional format. It'll show motion and inverse kinematics. It'll show the muscles that are relating to, uh, in this particular case, it highlights uh, the injury. And the, the, one of the nice features is that we've predetermined some markable images. And this is great for the touch screen. So you can uh, just touch that image and bring it up or any of the other images that are related to the animation. And then you're able to draw on that image and uh, close that image and it becomes part of your current session. And your current session can either be exported or it can be emailed or it can be printed and that's just a great way to communicate with your patients. Uh, let me show you one more example and this of the basic feature of the program. So let's go into posture and just look at the um, C-spine kyphosis. Uh, so as you, you can see the animation plays through and at any point the uh, images that relate to key stopping points and key areas of the animation. You can bring those up to highlight um, using your drawing tools. You can draw a straight line uh, showing good posture and then uh, you can bring up another image and show how the forward head posture and straightening of the spine and even highlight that the shoulders are rolling forward and that the chest is sinking in and different areas of the body are being affected as your head uh, continues to go forward. So with with these uh, different images it makes a very good and detailed report for the patient to refer to. Uh, again, uh, once you have these images that you've drawn upon you can export those, you can email those, or you can uh, print those images. And that's the basic features of the 3D side. Uh, there's hundreds of animations to choose from, and we cover all the common conditions that you would see with the patient day in and day out. It's very helpful in the communication with the patient so they can quickly understand uh, their condition and be able to uh, own their condition by seeing the markings on the images that are markable. Uh, I want to also go into the rehabilitation side because when patients understand what's wrong with them their next question is what do I need to do about it to make it right? So you can bring them into an area like for example here we have the shoulder highlighted because they're of a shoulder injury and we can take a look at rehab ball exercises, flexibility exercises, um, balance exercises, and stretches, um, resistance bands, floor and weight and so we can take a look at all these different categories and different exercises and there are, are hundreds to choose from uh, so what we've also done is created protocols and these protocols are customizable so you can create your own protocols but we got you started with a few so if you wanted to take a look at a rotator cuff and I'm going to open up that protocol and you can see that that protocol once we open it up it it becomes our current session and so the, with the current session we can take a look at at these different stretches or exercises we can mark them up as you see um, we can add notes for the patient to refer to and it also has a built-in explanation um, 
so you can see that the, the explanation is is already there predetermined but you can edit that and see the beginning and ending position for the patient um, and add that to the session with any, any of the instructions that you want to include. So now the current session just like on the 3D side now becomes what your report is based off of so you can send an email and show that current session you can print that current session and I'll just give you a, a print preview of what that current session would look like um, if it were printed out so I'll click on print and then you can see that there are instructions um, you can change the sets the reps the weight uh, the holding and, and rest um, and it will give you a description in addition to the beginning ending position and any markings that you've indicated or special instructions that you want to give uh, the patient for their rehabilitation it's a very uh, very quick and easy way to communicate with the patient and you can just send that report via email by clicking send email and typing in their email address and then clicking send so the rehabilitation portion of the program is very easy to use and there are also advanced features to this area of the program that you should uh, see the advanced uh, feature tutorial to find out more about those.